I interned at Emilia Wickstead, who is a haute couture London designer who's designed for Kate Middleton and lots and lots of celebrities. So it was really interesting to take a design idea and then follow it all the way through to the end product at London Fashion Week, which is really valuable for designing my own collection. I entered a competition with Sainsbury's to design a homeware collection. I designed a set of soft furnishings, so cushions and throws. I pitched my ideas to the design team and was lucky enough to go on to win the competition. It was really good to get an insight into the industry and work with people that have been doing that as a job for a long time. So it's a really valuable experience. Glorious Collisions is an ongoing showcase of all the work made by performing arts students throughout the year. And this year I was part of the team that got to work with Imitating the Dog, who are this internationally renowned theatre company, and we made a performance that was a variation on the Alfred Hitchcock film Psycho. It was really sort of inspiring to be able to work with a company of that calibre and realise that it is possible to make work of that standard after graduation. Been to Venice, Berlin, Prague. Um, and just recently I went on the New York trip, which was absolutely amazing. Once being in New York, I decided to base one of my current design projects and dissertation on the High Line, which I was lucky enough to get a tour of with the architect who designed it. It's really motivated me to want to go out and hopefully work there one day. And it was just an incredible experience going there with your friends, having a great time experiencing new things. The thing that was the best from my course perspective was that we went to the United Nations building and could experience the fact that language is everywhere. It was the most unbelievable experience to be in New York with a thousand students from every kind of course, all in one place for the same reason, which was the Love International project, and it was just brilliant. To be able to have so many different volunteering opportunities in India, I got to go and do drama workshops with the kids, which was amazing. And then I got to go to Bali to teach English out there. It was really helped me in my teacher training programme to have the work experience to be able to work with different kids. And then I also got an incredible opportunity to work with DMU Square Mile on a local primary school project running Shakespeare workshops. Last year I was elected by the students to be uh, the women's representative for DSU and I've put on many campaigns this year such as This Girl Can to try and get more students involved in sport and increase female participation and also the Women in Leadership Conference where I brought in speakers from across the UK to try and increase DME students' confidence and empower our students to feel like they can take on any challenge that they want. The Employability Award was £100 given to all third year students to alleviate the pressure of paying for travel to interviews, for buying outfits, for taking time out of work. It was a great confident boost to have that sort of support behind us. I think it's really hard to pinpoint one memorable moment because the whole experience at DMU has been a highlight but if I had to I'd definitely say getting picked for Graduate Fashion Week. It allowed me to be able to showcase my final collection which is you know, a massive opportunity. I've got so many things that are so important to me about DMU but I think the most important thing is my decision to come here in the first place. Yeah.